Let's see. Today is a momentous day. Today is the day that the Burning Man organization will begin drawing names from the cauldron of submissions and award tickets to the chosen people um, that, uh, that will get tickets in, in, as they begin the, the lotteries. I have lots of thoughts about this. Not all of them are chipper and positive, but I'll try to figure out what's important. First thing is that, uh, as of right now, there's not much that we can do, except be excited, be hopeful, think positive. The organization has set up an aftermarket system because by saying that it's going to be a lottery, people wanted to increase their chances, and many people had friends and family order tickets on their behalf. And so if I, for example, did such a thing and had my brother and my parents all put in for tickets, and what let's say we all got them, I would now have six when I actually need two. So there is going to be a huge number of people selling tickets very soon because they realize they have more than they need. The organization has set up a, an aftermarket system called STEP and it's, it's an attempt to make it easy to, to, to get valid tickets because some, one of the problems is scalpers is a problem as well as counterfeit is a problem and a lot of people you know, got scammed into buying tickets that weren't real and people were like meet me at this cafe and you know, I'll sell my ticket to you and it's kind of a bummer when you find out oh I just spent you know, 300, 400, 500 dollars on something that is really a really pretty piece of paper so, a few things on that. One is that, uh, if you're unaware, the Burning Man culture is that of you, you sell a ticket at face value. The experience of Burning Man is not something that you are supposed to you know, make money on in this way. So, please, if you have extra tickets, use the step system and get them in the hands of other burners at cost. Because that's actually a, an amazing gift. Gifting is not necessarily about you know, giving someone a trinket. Gifting is about helping people, helping people around you, bringing joy to someone's life by making their burden, by making their experience, their moment a little bit better. And so this, this is an, an awesome opportunity for burners to gift to the community simply by following the basic rules, selling the tickets at face value, using the existing step system, and, and minimizing the stress and anxiety, getting as many burners as possible tickets without delving into these dark areas of scalping or of, I don't know. I don't go to dark areas. One thing that I just uh, created is a, a Facebook page for Burning Man Ticket Angels, where if you do buy a ticket at face value off someone, and this happened a lot last year, is, is, is I would hear these great stories that even while scalping was happening and the media tended to focus on these, these bad people, and then you, know, it gets, you get a few bad people, and what does the news do? They put the camera on the bad people and suddenly they go, we have a world of bad people. No. We have a world with some bad people. And lots of amazing people. So let's recognize the amazing people who are gifting and creating this playa vibe year-round simply by facilitating tickets to their brothers and sisters. So if you buy a ticket at face value, let's hold those people on a pedestal and say, Go, Burner. Thank you for holding the vibe sacred and important and, and really taking us into that off playa burner lifestyle of values that is that changes the world. So, um, the other thing that I would I would say is in, in, in the matter of twenty four hours, as as people start to get their announcements and people realize they have tickets or don't have tickets, emotions are going to go crazy. Have faith. 
as the organization has said, and as people are, there's, the number of tickets bought right now is all out of whack because of people trying to game or trying to maximize their, their odds. I'm going to say, if you are interested in a ticket now, if you are part of the, the, the registration and if you've played by the rules and you're doing your best, you will get a ticket. This is not a money back guarantee. This is a, a statement of faith. So, I will see you on the playa. Plan on it. You will go. There will be opportunities. As the date gets closer, more and more people will realize, oh, you know, I got all scared. I, I bought up tickets, and now I realize I don't need these. Now I have this amazing gift to give to my brothers and sisters that need a ticket, who, who then will bring their gifts. Think about that. You can just simply by allowing someone to buy a ticket of yours at face value, you gift them. They bring their gifts to the playa, so you facilitate this whole, you know, dominoes of gifts and positives and love you pay it forward by doing so little so what an opportunity that being said you know don't want to reward the idea of hoarding tickets too much but if you are in that situation for whatever reason you have too many tickets let's get those to people that want them minimize the anxiety increase the excitement of gifts towards the playa towards the yay towards the woo towards the And then I'll just say real at the end there that, yeah, I agree. The ticketing system has got a lot to be desired, and maybe we can get some things fixed before next year. But this is what we have now. I think the intentions have been good all along. The execution has shown us that we still have a ways to learn. We are in the middle of a organizational dust storm. we got to work together, batten down the hatches, make it work, and I'll see you at home. Thank you for your efforts and patience. I love you.